Hey everybody, Mattis Faction here. You know that scene in Star Wars? You have the blockade runner. And you see it go across the screen. Well, it's more like going this way. But we're going this way. And it's like shooting. But then all of a sudden, there's just a massive Star Destroyer right behind it. That's what we got here. That's what we got here. So this you might be familiar with. This is the Kaiser Mini Paragon. And when I got it, I was like, Mini, shoot. I would love to see the full size. And then I learned there wasn't one. So I was like, why is it called the Mini? Because this was designed by some dude from RSK, or yeah, RS Knife Works. I don't know the name. And uh, apparently, he had a big one. This is a custom. And it, it helped me learn why this was called a mini paragon. Look at that. Look at that. Would you look at it? I mean, just, just soak it in. Soak it in. Uh, this is a big knife. I mean, I got all my fingers on there. It's a big knife. I mean, this this is the Hanson. This is the size of a bug out, pretty much exactly. So, I mean, there's the mini Paragon next to uh, a bug out. Everyone's got a bug out. And then here it is next to the Custom. Yeah, let me just put it on top of it. There you go. That's more more like it. Man, um, I have no idea what steel this is. I can't take it apart. I don't have the proper sized Torx on these. I don't think, maybe? I don't know. Do I? I mean, that's a fat boy right there. Stop looking in the mirror. Maybe I do, because that one's too big. Or, oh, I think I know what it was. This was between sizes, right? This one fits. This is a T20. I think it was these guys that maybe I had the trouble with. This one sort of fits. I mean, I wouldn't go for it, because it would strip it. And I don't really have, what is this? T15, yeah, so I go from 15 to 20. I don't have like a T16. So, I mean, you might. If you were brave and you owned it, you might want to go yourself and try this. But I mean, it just sits very shallow. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take this apart. I mostly am just doing this video to show this. I mean, I tried researching this knife. I couldn't find a lot. There's other RSKs that have sold. Ooh, got a little schmutch. But, man, this thing is a beast. I believe they're American-made. And you can see some design differences from the custom to the production. Like the steps here in the handle, which makes it pretty comfortable. You get a step for each finger. I, I dig this handle. This handle is comfortable. The clip is better too. Like this, you can kind of feel when you hold it. This is just a 14 pound piece of titanium. Just zip, there's your clip. And uh, what's neat about the clip You can, uh, you can twang it. Is my music too loud? So that's fun. This thing resonates with me. <laughs> I find the best way to close it is Satu Dave's claw. Ever since he showed me that, this is the, this is the most fun way to close a frame lock. You could reach over if you want. Ugh. 
Maybe not with one hand on this bad boy. But if you get that claw, get that finger under there, that's the best way. We had some carbon fiber and what looks like a stainless steel inlay or titanium inlay. I'm not quite sure what that is. It's milled down the sides. Look how milled it is down the sides. It's amazing. It makes it comfortable. What's cool about this is you see the hardware, the pivot, you got the bits, but on the other side, it's just on the pocket screws. These screws just go zzz all the way through. And I wanted to take it apart to see how the pivot here works. But alas, I do not have a T16. Wait, no. Why am I going, why am I going backwards? I would need like a 14. I've been saying 16 this whole time. Yeah, I would need a, a 14. And this goes T10 to 15. I don't have anything in between. <sighs> yeah, 10 ain't gonna cut it. What are these? No, nope. that would have been, that would have been comical. Yeah, ain't gonna happen. I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. Anyway, so <clears throat> here we are. The whole point of this video is just to show this off. I don't know the specs. I can't find them. All the ones I see online are like damn steel and. You know, super high-end fancy. And I like this one. This is a beater knife. You want to use this. And in fact, uh, Steve said, use it. So I'm going to take his advice. I'm going to hard use this thing. Here we go. Here we go. We're hard using it. Here we go. Oh, like butter. That tastes like victory. Mmm. Coincidentally, that also tasted like victory. Let's go for a, a third opinion. Wouldn't you know it? Victory. But Mr. Matt... Don't you think it should taste like a Twinkie? You should mind your business. It tastes like victory. Mmm. Victory never tasted so sweet. There we go. Clean it up. Get all that victory off there. All that victory cream. What'd you just say? I said Anyway, here's the RSK Paragon. Here's the Kaiser Mini Paragon. There's also a Mini Mini Paragon. I do not have that one. But, word on the street is, if you go to White Mountain Knives, they have one that says Paragon XL. And it's not available, but I heard that if you go there and sign up uh, for the notification if it gets released. That's how they're gauging whether they should release it or not. So what you guys should do is just go sign up for that notification because I want it. I want this in that size. This is also a liner lock. Well, this is a frame lock. Actually, this is more like a tank lock. Man, this thing is sweet. I carried it in my pocket. I've, I've taken it places. This thing went to karate. It's just so awesome. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Dude, I just wanted to show size comparison and eat a Twinkie. And I did both those things. So here you are. And, uh, you know, thanks for watching. And catch you next time.